Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today and once again I apologize for my voice, I'm not completely recovered yet. But I am back today to share with you the January Stamps and Dice release for Newton Snook. If you guys have been following me on Instagram then you would have already seen the announcement for the design team. I am now part of the Newton Snook design team and I am sharing with you today the January Stamps and Dice release. So I'm going to show you all of the stamps and dies and then I'm going to show you a process video for this card that you see right here. So for the start of the January release, the first thing that we revealed is the new Woodland Duos and it features this adorable foxes, the owls, and the raccoons with all the cute sentiments that you see here and three extra hearts and this stamp set coordinates with the previously released Darling Hearts Dies or something like that. I will put all of the supplies in the description box below in case you would like to purchase them. And for this stamp, I made two cards and if you follow me on my blog then you would have already seen this card that you see on the left. I inlaid the die cut here with the images and it features the foxes and the raccoons and I covered the heart with glossy accents and stamp made for each other and love bandit added the red bow and I have also made this valentine card with the owl image and I really love how both turned out the next stamp set is called Love and Chocolate and it features all of these cute sentiments here. It says chocolate and friends make life complete. Chocolate makes everything better. Chocolate is best on days that end in Y. Chocolate is the answer. All you need is love and chocolate. And then it has this strawberry image here with the chocolate a macaroon and some other chocolate images that you see here very cute and that also comes with its coordinating dies and here are the two cards that I created for that stamp set for this one I made a shaker card I wanted the focus to be on the macaroons so that's why it's white on white and then I just added this dainty bow and the sentiment you make life sweeter I added the sparkling clear sequins here and colored the macaroons with my pastel Copic markers and made it really simple. So that's the first card. The second card features a tag die and stamp set from Newton's Nook. I used the, the tag and the dies and then I used the strawberry image here that I covered with white chocolate and I used the Nouveau Drops to make it look like it's white chocolate and I colored the images with my Copic markers and also included the kiss there and then used chocolate makes everything better sentiment so those are the two cards for the Love and Chocolate stamp set. The third stamp set is called Pug Hugs and it features two adorable pug images. Very cute. And then the sentiment, too far for a hug, so I sent you a pug. Need a pug. Sending you a birthday pug. There with a birthday hat and the bow and the heart. So for the first card that you see here, I created my own pattern paper using the hearts. And then I colored the pug with my Copic marker added the cute heart there and used the sentiment too far for a hug so I sent you a pug. I think this one is really adorable. And then the next card that you see here you've already seen the design that I made previously and I added this washi tape from Heidi Swap that I got from Michaels. I added the pink heart there and then featured the three pugs colored them in with my Copic markers and I really love how this one turned out so I love both cards and the pug images are so cute I think this is really a must-have 
The last stamp set that you see here is called Newton's Happy Mail and it features our beloved Newton getting the Happy Mail inside the mailbox. I think this is also a must have, it's really cute. It has the special delivery, sending Happy Mail and just for you, really cute pun sentiment there and it comes with its coordinating dies. And I made these cards right here. This is the one that I featured on my blog. Really cute. And in case you're wondering, this is from the Sweater Weather stamp set also from Newton's Nook. And these are the two cards that I made today with a process video that you will see shortly. So if you guys are interested to see how I made these two cards, then please keep watching. So you will need a top folding card base. This is measured four and a quarter by five and a half. This is measured three and a half by five and a half. And this is measured three quarter of an inch that will go on the side here. I already have this die. I die cut it out of pink pattern paper. And I die cut it three times. And I've also die cut this white cardstock twice. This right here to go in. And then I will use this piece right here to die cut the grass. So let's get started. I started out by coloring my images using my Copic markers. And I will be indicating all of the colors that I have used on the screen. to die cut the images that I just colored. And now I will be adhering the three pieces of pink pattern paper here to create my frame for Newton. And then I'm going to use my ATG gun to put the card together. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just putting the card together here for you. So I'm just gonna let you enjoy the process video. So here are the stamp set and dies again. It's the Woodland Duos, Love and Chocolate, Pug Hugs, and Newton's Happy Mail. Available for purchase now at Newton's Nook Design, Simon Says Stamp, Marker Pop, and any other crafting supply store. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I hope you got inspired today with all of the samples that I have for you for the January release. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please click that subscribe button. I have a lot of giveaways and videos coming up for 2017. I hope you got inspired today and I'll see you on my next crafting project. Bye for now and have an amazing weekend.